What's up guys, my name is Preston Palmer, Student Engineering. In this video, we're going over an example problem on how to solve the reaction forces. So, if you find it helpful, please subscribe. So, what we have here is we have a beam that's kind of cantilevered out here with three forces acting on top that could be like the weight of these beams coming perpendicular to that. And it has another rope or a cable point in that direction with 400 newtons of force and what we need to find are the reaction forces at point A. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a free body diagram of what's going on here. And so we're going to set up our coordinate system. We'll have this be the x and the y directions and we're going to draw, we're going to kind of neglect the width of the beam here and it's going to come out like this over and then we're going to draw our forces on here and so we have our 200 newtons along the top we have our force coming out like this at 30 degrees and it is 400 newtons and then we're going to need to replace our support with support reactions or our reaction forces. And so we're going to have our force in the x direction, our reaction force in the x direction, we'll call it F sub A sub X, and the other one F sub A sub Y. And then because it is a fixed support, we're also going to have our moment reaction. So it's going to keep it from rotating. We'll call it M sub A. And so what we need to do is we need to solve for these three unknowns. And we're going to do that using equilibrium equations. So what we probably want to start off with, the easiest will probably be the sum of the forces in the X direction because as far as I can see, there's only two forces moving in the X direction. So we're going to sum forces in the X direction because it's in equilibrium, it's going to be zero, or equal zero, and so we have our 400 newtons going 30 degrees below horizontal. And so to find that, I can, we'll use the cosine of 30 degrees equals the x component of the force, or the adjacent side, divided by 400, which is the hypotenuse. Multiply the 400 over, and that will be the x component of this force. So it'll be 400 cosine of 30 degrees. And because it's going in the positive x direction, we'll keep it positive. The other one, I'm going to run out of room here, but it's going to be we drew it in going in the positive x direction as well, and it doesn't really matter which way you draw these forces. If you know which way it's going to be, you can draw it going in the right direction. But after we've solved it out, we'll be able to tell whether or not it's going in the right direction. And you'll see what that means in a minute. And so this will be F A X. So we're going to subtract this over to the other side, and you'll get that F A X equals negative 400 cosine of 30 degrees Cosine of 30 degrees is 0 0.866. Multiply that by 400 and you'll end up getting that that equals negative 346.4 newtons. So this minus sign here indicates that we drew our arrow in the wrong direction. So our force is actually going in the opposite direction of where, how we drew it. And so we're gonna re we're gonna redraw our arrow going in the right direction and we're gonna label label it as 346.4. And that's the newtons. Alright, so we solved for one of our unknowns. Now we're gonna solve for our forces going in the y direction. It's going to equal zero and you're going to have that our F A sub Y 
is going in the positive y direction, so it's going to be plus, and then these three forces, minus 200, minus 200, minus 200, because they're going in the negative y direction, I'm just going to add them all up, it's going to be minus 600, and then this one is going to be, instead of cosine, we're going to use sine, of 30 degrees and our y component is going to be the side opposite. So we'll multiply the 400 over and so it would be 400 sine of 30 degrees. So when you simplify this sine of 30 degrees is 1 half or 0.5 so multiply that by 400 it is also minus 200 so this will be minus 600 minus 200, will be minus 800. We'll add it over to the other side and we'll get that F A Y equals 800 newtons. And remember, because it came out positive, means that we drew our arrow going in the right direction. So we'll relabel that on our free body diagram as 800 newtons. So the last thing we need to solve for is our moment reaction. And the way we'll do that is we will sum moments about a point. And in this case, I'm going to sum moments about this point because that will cancel out these two forces because they won't cause rotation. So we'll add up our moments and they're going to equal zero. And now we need to solve for the geometry of our shape so that we can find out how far away these forces are from our point of rotation so that we can see how big of a moment they create. And so going back to this shape over here, we have our triangle with this angle being 60 degrees and this side being 3 feet. Well, if we want, we want to find this side of the triangle and that will help us get closer to being able to find out how far these are away from it. So the so 3 times the cosine of 60 degrees equals this side and cosine of 60 is 1 half so times that by 3 and you get 1.5 meters. So this side of the triangle is 1.5 from there to there is 1 meter so this force is going to be 200 newtons. And so first we're going to write that this moment, because it is going in the counterclockwise direction, is going to be a positive moment about point A, which is a reaction force. This 200 newton force is going to cause clockwise rotation, which is a negative moment, and so that will be 200 times by 2.5. The next one is one meter over and it is also going in a clockwise direction so 200 times by 3.5 minus 200 for this force times by 4.5. I'm going to erase this. So now we're to our rope and the y component of it is going to be, once again, we found that the y component was 200 newtons and it is also 4.5 meters away. So it's going to be minus 200 times by 4.5. And then our last one, our 400 newton, the component in the x direction is going to be written on this triangle this side is going to be this 3 meters and then what the angle is going to be right here because this is 60 degrees this is going to be 30 degrees so if you want this side it's going to be 3 times the cosine of 30 degrees and that ends up getting about 2.6 meters so our x component of this force its line of action is 2.6 meters away from 
point A. So that'll be, and remember that the X component of the force is 346.4 Newtons because there's only those two forces there. And so that is 346.4 times by 2.6. And so when you add all this up, you end up getting that this is 3,901. And so you add that over to the other side and you get that your moment reaction at point A is 3,901 Newton meters, which equals 3.9 kilonewton meters. And so we can write that right here, but that is 3.9 kilonewton meters. All right guys, so that's how you find the reaction forces about a point. And in this case, we are finding the reaction forces from a fixed support. And if anything wasn't clear and you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button, share it with your classmates. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe.